week marks four months since mm -hmm. a Georgia woman was shot in the head during a road rage incident on I-85. Yeah, numerous bullets coming within inches of her two children in the back seat. This is Heather Stevanis on January 8th. She, her husband, and two kids, Gunner and Millie, were driving back to their home in Tacoa after attending Monster Jam in Greenville. With Mother's Day just a couple of days away, the Stevanis family says this year means so much more to them. Only Fox Carolina's Anna Arinder spent the day with them. Anna, how is she doing? Well, Heather is recovering well, and I've talked to her several times since the incident now, and she's receiving physical and occupational therapy. However, being shot in the head, that's not something you usually survive. She tells me she has given her, given her a new outlook on life, and she's thankful for the little things. Be at home with them, watch a movie, um, have a meal, listen to them play and laugh. It's, I'll never take that for granted again. Heather Stevanis is counting her blessings. I'm just grateful to have both kids still here with me because it could have been so much worse. In January, Heather was shot in the head while driving home on I-85 to Tacoa, Georgia. Her husband, Brandon, and their two young children, Gunner, six, and Millie, just three, were inches away from flying bullets. We all could have really um, had a different outcome. Life without her would be, I don't know. Today, Heather is still on a recovery journey. Still hanging around with a cane. I can go without it around the house, but outside we're still kind of chugging along with it. And for like long distances, I use the wheelchair. Let's go. At the park, the couple makes sure to spend time with their little ones. While the two say they don't have extravagant Mother's Day plans this year, it's quality time with family that means the most. I realize just the day-to-day -day things with the kids, um, honestly being able to be at home with them, because I spent 61 days in the hospital. In the past, I stayed busy working, and now I've had to slow down and change the way things go. You know, you ask her about taking stuff for granted, you know, took for granted her taking kids to school. Now I got to do it. And it just, you know, people don't realize a single, single parenting's a lot harder than what, what it is. And even though she's home, you know, for them, she said 61 days, you know, I was pretty much a single parent. Took all that for granted. Heather and Brandon say they're working on moving forward from this incident as a family and hope that one day justice can be served in this case. You know, the suspect is still at large. The Oconee mm -hmm. County Sheriff's Office still has not been able to make arrest an arrest in this case. And, you know, it's absolutely amazing to see how far she has come. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, she was shot in the head. Right. That's not a cold or the flu mm -hmm. or falling down a set of stairs. That's major trauma to your body. And mm -hmm. to see how she can <clears throat> even push her daughter Millie on the swing was really cool. It's a story that always gives me chills. Yeah, and it does. you know, it is kind of a happier ending to what we probably expected when we first heard about it happening. Yeah, right. four months ago already. Yeah. I remember it was a devastating story to report on and just, I know you've been following it, Anna, mm -hmm. and uh, communicating with the family. So I'm so thankful you were able to talk with them and share how they're doing yeah. and right ahead of Mother's Day. Yeah, they're an incredible family. Yeah, I, oh, I love them. <laughs> well, as you mentioned, there is no suspect in custody, but we do want to show yeah. you a stock image from deputies of the car they believe the suspect was driving that night. Now, if you have any information on the shooting or a possible suspect, you are asked to call the Oconee County Sheriff's Office. Yeah.